What's going on everyone? This is Sonic Mix and today I am going to do my questions and answers episode 2. Um unfortunately nobody didn't comment on any of the questions that I had to offer in episode 1. So uh please do watch episode 1. I'll post a link somewhere around this video. But today we are going to do 10 new questions, same thing like I did in the last video. I'm going to give 10 questions to you guys. You guys answer it in the comments. And then I'll answer my own 10 questions. And also, please do leave me questions to what you would like for me to answer for the next Q&A video for Episode 3. So the 10 questions of the night or the day is, Favorite school memory? What country would you like to visit? What is your dream job? Favorite music band, a game you never played but liked to one day, what music band should make a comeback, what was the best and worst WWE WrestleMania you watched, your quick review on Resident Evil 6, where were you on the end of the world, December 12, 2012, and then finally, what is your goal for YouTube if you do YouTube videos or your YouTube partner or some sort? So, first question, once again, favorite school memory? It would have to be 8th grade when the whole 8th grade class went on a trip to Six Flags Great America. I remember going back after so many years. This was the year of 2004, by the way. And I just remember just after one ride, I just had I had the craving of going on and on and on. And <laughs> don't mean to gross anybody out, but on the eighth ride, which was Iron Wolf, I got off and I threw up after so much, after so much rides and all that. And I just kind of remember uh, some of my buddies and a couple of teachers actually. They they came up to me saying saying Are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. So, and then the the very last ride was the what was it called? Raging Rapids with the big giant tube. I think that's what it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one. But I had a blast during my eighth grade trip, and those days are gone now, unfortunately. Uh, what country would you like to visit one day? No brainer here, Japan. I've I've always been the type of person to visit Japan for its anime, its its anime comics, of course the big video game headquarters like Nintendo, Sega, and Capcom, and just really see the environment and see the surrounding of Tokyo, Tokyo, Japan, as a matter of fact. Um, so that's definitely, definitely a country, Japan, that I would like to visit, and city-wise, Tokyo. Those are definitely the places I would love to visit one day. And if it ever came, hey, I would, I would definitely be a sucker for those anime, comics, and, um, and shows. And, of course, Nintendo, Sega, and Capcom. Uh, number three, what is your dream job? I would like to be a video game graphic designer, but not so much a graphic designer, but have the mind of a video gamer. Like think, like think visually in my head, what would make a game such a remarkable, amazing game? And think of its surroundings. Think of its horror. If it's a horror game, think of the characters. Think of everything to be put into the game. And to me personally, what I believe is, if you can't hands-on do it, your mind can be your key factor. And I know there's a college out there. I don't know what the college is, but the college studies on... If you can't do it with your hands, it's your mind that comes up with these great ideas. And you know what? The mind is a powerful key. And we use our mind to get the job done most of the time, like with math and, and all that sort of thing. Uh, favorite music band? I like Avenged Sevenfold. 
Uh, another band that I like that's up there, um, Nightwish. Nightwish is up there. Camelot is up there. Metallica, of course, you got to put that somewhere up there. Most of the music that I like or bands that I listen to is not well known. They're basically out of country. I like Disturbed. Of course, Disturbed is American band. So I tend to go for more of the band that doesn't really get a lot of credit, but it should get a lot of credit. So those are those would be my bands that I would like to listen to the most. Uh, a game that you never played but liked to one day. I know a lot of people have played these games, but I'm one who's never has, but I would love to one day. Bioshock. Bioshock and Mass Effect are those two games that I have personally never played before. Yes, I've probably shocked a lot of you guys that I've never did, but it's the truth. I've never played these games because I never really found the time. If I did found the time, maybe I would try one of these games one day and see if I like it or not. Uh, what music band should make a comeback? Basically, what I'm saying about this question is uh, a band that is dead but should make a comeback. Right off the bat, I think of Disturbed. I, I think Disturbed is Disturbed is a band now that's been kind of been dead now for like two years now, ever since the band disbanded. But I think Disturbed should make a comeback, and um, I'm going to mispronounce the name the name wrong, but. Il FIFA 65, uh, it's the band that's, that, that's saying the I'm blue, ba da dee da da and you know the rest of the song, and uh, Move Your Body. I know, I know I pronounced the name wrong, but there's two songs I think you should know who I'm talking about. I think those two should definitely make a huge comeback in the music industry. Uh, number seven, uh, what was the best and worst WWE WrestleMania you watched? The best that I personally watched was WrestleMania 17. It was the first WrestleMania that I watched, and Stone Cold versus The Rock, Undertaker versus Triple H. I think at that rate at the WrestleMania, you also had Chris Benoit versus Kurt Angle, the Triple Threat Hardcore match. You just had an amazing stacked card at that whole WrestleMania, and a very, very memorable WrestleMania. Although not a lot of people were too crazy with the whole Austin heel turn, but m many people would say it didn't work out, but I guess it was interesting, but I did hear it, it hurt the ratings quite a lot. Of course, when I was a little kid at the time, I thought it was the most awesome thing there was. Number eight, your quick review on Resident Evil 6. It had a lot of hype. It had a potential to be one of the best, but a complete disappointment. If anything, Leon's campaign saved the game. I know that's saying a lot, but out of all the out of all the campaigns, I liked Leon's. I think his campaign was it was original, but it didn't feel like original enough because you had the damn partner with you. But, but nonetheless, I would say I enjoyed Leon's more than the others. Second to, la second to first, I would say Ada's. Number nine, where were you on the end of the world, December 21st, 2012? Although it never happened, we're still living, but I figure, you know what, might as well throw in this question because it is still fun. I was right here in this room filming my... December 21st video, I had, the, I had the camera with me, and I had my, my uh, electric piano with me, and uh, I actually played the Song of Time, and um, I guess you could say I saved the world, nonetheless, though, but it was fun. I guess, you know, I guess have a little fun with it. And then finally, the last question of the night, what is your goal for YouTube? Well, there's a couple goals. Uh, one, I hope I get a lot of subscribers. Uh, two, maybe not so much of an internet sensation, but maybe kind of popular in a way. And then three, 
try to work out some sort of a deal to where maybe I can do video game walkthroughs again. Which, not too long ago, I had to put that down to rest. So I'm hoping maybe I can get it back up and running again if I can make some sort of a deal. Alright, well, in that case, thank you guys for watching. These are the 10 questions for Questions and Answers Episode 2. Please do leave your comments on the bottom of this video. Leave me your comments for these 10 questions that I gave. And also, please do send me your 10 questions to the next episode that you would like for me to mention in Q&A Episode 3. And once again, I left the link somewhere along this video to Questions and Answers 1. So please do check that out when you have the time. Until then, guys, this is Sonomix saying you guys have a good one, and I'll talk to you guys later.